Cool people, welcome to another episode of Form the Ball. And today I'm going to tackle one of the most asked questions in my TikTok and YouTube channel, and that is, why is my calf having a stunted growth after winning or after three months? My name is Paul, and don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel at Farm with Paul, and also on our TikTok at Farm with Paul. And you can also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook as Farm with Paul. Now, before we tackle the question, we have to understand a calf for the first probably three months before a calf achieve approximately two times its age, the main feed is always milk. And as we talked on a previous video, we talked about how we win and how we start introducing calf pellets and uh, hay and also introducing water on the third day. Remember, milk is a complete meal. What do I mean by a complete meal? It contains all the balanced nutrients. That include energy, vitamins, minerals, water, and some and even anti antibodies in the first milk, that is the colostrum. Now, when we start winning, we start introducing the calf to other solid feeds. And by the time we are doing this, we should have followed the steps at which we talked on our previous video on calf rearing. If you haven't watched it, I'm actually going to put a link below on how to actually introduce gradually the feeds under the fodder to your calf. And remember, we also talked about deworming your calf monthly. Now, at this stage, your calf is now three months. You have weaned your calf. And remember, weaning is you have removed all the milk that you're feeding to that calf. It's no longer feeding on milk. Now you're feeding it on solid feed. The mistake a lot of farmers do is they exclude the milk but do not replace with something which is very nutritive. Here in the farm what we do is immediately our calf get wind. It should be feeding approximately a whole kg of concentrate. That is the calf pellets and a good calf pellets from a reputable company and that we ensure that it will have a supply of very good nutrients and a minimum of one kg that means it will be able to replace the amount of milk that you're previously feeding on top of that we feed on hay that is the road grass that has been wilted and was harvested at the right stage you can also feed something like the sweet potato vines, but you should wilt them prior to feeding, at least to ensure minimal amount of water. And also the other thing we do is, immediately we hit three months, we do warm our calf, and we also inject a vitamin into this calf. Why do you do warm? It's to ensure that this calf does not have any uh, worms in the body that will compete with the feeds that you're going to feed. The other thing is, we ensure we have a vitamin. That means, if it has any deficiency of vitamin, it will have enough. Now, for those who are complaining that they have a standard growth, this is what you should do. Ensure you have good concentrate in the last uh, three months. Uh, after three months, you're feeding on a very nice concentrate to the calf. And ensure it's feeding more than one kg. The other thing is, ensure you're feeding on a very good fodder that is i recommend hay and lucerne but should be wilted and harvested at the correct stage the other thing is ensure you deworm as previously we talked of deworming your calf monthly up to six months up to the third month we now deworm the calf and also inject a vitamin which you can consult with your veterinary officer to actually guide you on that the other thing is always ensure that your calf has a very good place where it's sleeping. Remember this calf is actually adding weight every day, which is a target of around 21 kgs per month. So where this cow is sleeping should have a very well uh, air circulation, should be free from drought, that is dry wind, should be free from rain, and should be sufficient for that calf. And remember, as your calf grows, the more you increase on concentrate and the more you increase 
on the amount of fodder it's actually feeding. Remember on the third, uh, after three weeks from calving, we introduced the calf to minerals. That is why at this point of three months, your calf should be feeding approximately 20 grams to 25 grams of minerals per day. And this will help in avoiding your calf having to change the color. I've had complaints from several farmers whereby after three months, your calf that was a black and white, Frisian or a Holstein, start changing to a white and brown. The black shiny color start changing to brown. This is brought about by deficiency in the mineral supplement that are available in the feeds. And a lot of people after winning their calves assume that their cows will not be feeding on dairy meal or what we call the concentrates. Remember, a concentrate is a balanced feed. So even the calf is eligible to actually feeding on the same. And it's recommended you purchase that is formulated from a well reputable company that ensures the feed that they formulate are directly uh, proportional to the calf requirements. And also remember, in this area, we are targeting for a growth of 21, uh, gram, uh, 21 kgs every month. So meaning we should be taking our weight every month. And the essence of taking this weight every month is to determine the growth of this calf. So if you do not introduce and replace the milk that you are feeding with a very good nutritive fodder and concentrate and also mineral salt and water, your calf will not meet its requirement for growth. You end up having stunted growth. That is why you end up hearing someone saying, I have a calf that was born probably three years ago. It hasn't come on heat because it is delayed in growth. And I've always told most of my farmers is your calf determination for productivity is highly determined on how you actually manage your cow from the first day to around 90 days. And also, how you manage your calf after weaning. For example, if you fail to actually feed your cow on nutritive fodder and you start feeding on overgrown napier, you start feeding on overgrown hay, you start feeding on poor, uh, poor quality feeds, what happens is your cow start having a very large stomach and it's not digesting some of these feeds. For example, if you start feeding on concentrate, for example, if you start feeding on something like a cotton, Excessive cotton is not digestible to a cow that has no a very well developed rumen. So it's the reason why I'll actually advise a farmer to actually have calf pellets that are developed by a reputable company that knows the need of a calf. Also remember, from zero from one month to six months, we deworm our cow, our calf monthly. And by that, will be able to achieve the requirement, which is 21 uh, uh, kgs in a fresh and cow per month, which translates to actually serving your cow at around 15 months from birth. And by the time your cow hits two years, you'll be able to be start milking. Remember, profitability in dairy farming is highly determined on how fast your calf grow and attain milk production at an early stage and by that maximum productivity in your farm will be attained my name is paul and for more and to learn more make sure you follow us and also subscribe so that you can be notified whenever we post another new video in case of any inquiry you can leave it on the comment section or you can send it to my whatsapp number which i'm going to target below on the description my name is paul and don't forget to follow us on all social media pages at farm with Paul.